for 2000. Let's get 2100 with the hippo. Should, should be smooth, I think. Okay. I don't know how to fianchetto this one, but... Oh well. Half hippo. In this case, if black's not doing anything, I'm, I will grab the center. If we're both being passive, somebody's gotta commit. I'm gonna expand a little bit, yeah. Still slowly building, nothing, nothing too aggressive. What if I keep pushing? I'm gonna take with the C pawn so that I can go Rook C1 and attack that. Keep pushing. Oof, that's a nice looking square. Here I can go B4 and kick the Knight out. Hmm. Let's just make some waiting moves. King H2. Do I go here? No. Gonna keep milking it. Gonna keep milking that. I don't know if I want to go here or not. This bishop's not great. This knight's pretty good. I think I should wait. Let's grab some more space. Can we go here? Pawn takes. Knight takes. That's pretty tempting. We're gonna build it up though. I wanna go e5, just at the right moment. Where's the blender? Push this pawn so I can take here. There's gotta be a blender somewhere here. Okay, now e5 looks juicy. Let's try e5. There's got to be a moment somewhere here. Pawn takes. Bishop takes. Can they take that pawn? Okay, I'll take with the knight. Okay, we got the bishop pair. And we got some diagonals. I'm also threatening this, don't forget. I said don't forget. And now I get to swing back. Mm hmm. Threatening this, let's move out of the way. Now let's push. Now let's take. If here I'm gonna go rookie one. Wait, what happens if they go back? Did I just blunder? <laughs> it's okay. the discovery and that's a checkmate I can almost pre-move almost there's knight f6 but this is forced mate Checkmate. The little app. Okay.
Hippo. Hippo's ready. Just speedrunning this account. Playing the pool on chess.com. Hoping for this move at some point. You move that pawn, your bishop's gonna hang. And g3 knight f5 is another idea. g5 is another move. I think if you're a bullet addict, hippo, the hippo is very playable in bullet. Bullet is, uh, is a good time control for you. Um, I want to trade, you know what, in this case, I'm going to trade, I'm going to, I'm going to trade and put an knight on f5. That looks good. As long as I get my attack. I'm good. I could take the rook, they take here. I want a castle, so I'll, I'll, I won't take that rook yet. We got this move coming. Push. Knight f is coming. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that. I'm walking into a pin. But that's that's okay. I have some confidence here. Rook f1. If you go here, there's knight h6 check. If you go here, I can take and go knight e7 check. Check. Some tricky knights there. Check. There we go. Now we're just going to collect. Call and collect. Your rook is hanging. Let's trade. Check. Check. We're going for mate. Going for mate. It's all for a free rook, because I'm still going for mate. Okay. Nice. Scapegoater! Good luck. This is tempting. Well, just I'll go G4, but it's tempting to play B4 and gain a tempo. Maybe bring the knight in like this. And do some weaknesses somewhere. This is a free pawn. Nothing's free, right? But it looks pretty good. I'm gonna take it. That looks like a juicy pawn. Both my bishops will be pretty good here. Mm. Give up one bishop to win a piece. Mr. Bach, thank you for the raid. Good timing. Got the raid and I got a free piece. Oh man. I don't like the look of this. No sir. It's a good thing I have a bishop here, otherwise rook d2, queen d2, knight f3 check would hurt, but this bishop is saving the day for now. I don't know for how much longer. Uh oh. I'm getting hurt. Let's just try to castle. 
My knight's trying to blockade here. Yes, let me castle. Escape the pin. Okay. I <sighs> could have been worse. White's a piece up. Still tricky. But what if I go here? Isn't this a fork? If queen takes, I can just trade. I think that's a pretty unfortunate square. Yeah, we'll take that. And we'll just play, play with the uh, extra queen. Nice. Pico warrior. Well, you see that? It means that flag must be Costa Rica. Yes, it is. Wait, I didn't do the hippo. I'm going to have to redo that. I'm going to have to move back. I, I, uh, the knight's supposed to go on e7. It's okay. I'm just going to trade everything, and it's okay. We're all good. Back to a normal looking position. This is loose. Excellent. Excellent. So the music I'm playing right now on stream is Pleasure Craft. I'm coming to Toronto tonight. So there's a good chance we'll we'll check them out. The music. Let's play the end game. Let's try this out. Bring the king in. Fix these pawns. Push. Uh huh. I'm going to take the pass pawn. Check. And I want to run this way. I want to walk, walk these squares. Oh. I don't think that's a good move, because I can go here now. Then I get pr protected past pawns. That's, that's going to be good. Check. You know what? I'll take these pawns. Not going to say no to those. Check. Yes. Go me. This might be the London. Okay, no. Not quite. E6. Oh, I made a mistake. I should have played this. Should have, should have prevented that by playing h6. I got caught. Caught being sloppy here. This is some scary stuff. What can I say? Not my favorite position. Hopefully we can trap the queen. With f3, <laughs> still want to trap the queen. Come on. Don't, they're not going to see a backwards knight move, right? That's too advanced. <laughs> you Myron? A fianchetto rook traps the queen. It, it does, they can give up the piece, but okay. Winning a piece is still an accomplishment. I'm still proud. Now we're just going to trade things because we're up a piece. 
Your Myron? Good, good, good. This is also gonna fall. And then I'm gonna take here probably. This is an idea. Don't forget. Let's grab this. Oof. That pin's not gonna fix itself. Nope. Check. I'm just grabbing everything. My knights have my king very safe. And my bishop says hi. Skewer. Nice. <laughs> so don't follow that. The knights were good bodyguards. This is the hippo. This is the setup. I'm gonna go a6. h6. This is pretty scary, this this setup. Maybe I'll go rook g8. In case things open up, I'll have I'll have an antidote. I'll have some discovered attacks. Oh, okay. Um, what if I go knight f5? I want to use the g-file, I want to say hi to the queen. How about we go king here? Now the rook's defended. Okay, they caught it. Well played, well played. I'm going b5 so my knight can uh, jump, jump in. This bishop is good. Maybe knight c4. Let me go knight c4, just to start. Bishop c1 is probably a good move, I just don't think they're going to play it. Oh, they did, okay. I was wrong, my mistake. I'll have to move back. Put my bishop here. I want to stop this and maybe set up a battery, a light squared battery like that. So the position is good. I got two bishops. My king looks safe. That's super aggressive. But this rook's not in the game, and that doesn't make me happy. No, no. This is aggressive. Okay, I gotta. I think I gotta run this way. Connect the rooks. You wanna trade rooks? If you can trade defenders, then this will be loose. Damn. Good move. These are some good moves. I have to open up the position somehow. Gotta get this rook involved. I wanna give any pawns? No, sir. Okay, where's this knight gonna go? Maybe here? Maybe here? Yes, I like this idea. That's that's the idea we want to see. And after here, I have bishop f5 and the queen gets stuck. You can't move somewhere to defend the rook. It's kind of rough. So now we're just up a rook. It's gonna be tough. Tough for Buddy. I'm gonna bring my queen in to say hi. Maybe I can get in a checkmate.
Hey. Not cool. Um, I'm gonna move back. <laughs> Ninety three, queen here, queen here is mate. So let's set that up. Maybe bishop f one. Ah, this is good. Check. Got him. Chess mo nineteen. H3, they're going for the same setup. Is this the counter? Maybe this is a hippo counter. We're gonna find out. All queenside castle on this one. Try to play G4 at some point. Okay. Let's target these pawns if I can. Can I take this or is that too greedy? It looks a little too greedy. We're gonna trade it a little bit. And then how about I go G4, try to play G5. That looks fun. G5. Thank you for the pawn. Let's offer a queen trade. I'm going to go rook d7. This knight is out of play. Rook here. By the way, this move is terrible. That's pinned. So Don't support these guys. Rook e8. G H six bishop G seven uh, F six is rook G seven and there might be a mate. Yeah, some pain. Alakine nineteen seventy two. Okay, now we're set, and now let's expand on the king side. Oof. This is a, this is a tough, tough one. Black has all the space. Don't really want to challenge on the queen side. I think king side, there's still chances, but... What do I do? Do I go e4? And after here, put an n on f5? It's very much like a king's Indian then. Right here. They take, we take with the e pawn, so the bishop opens up. Yeah, let's try that. Let's, let's, uh, king side attack. You're saying my shoulders look pale? Yes, I haven't, haven't left, haven't left the house enough. <laughs> I'll be going to India, but I don't think I'll be outside much there either. Hmm. And if I go here? Where's your knight going? Why is my face darker than my shoulders? I don't know. 
It's probably the the camera. But maybe I was walking outside and my shoulders were were covered and my face wasn't. Got a bit of a tan. But it should be the camera. I'm gonna retreat with my bishop. I could take this, I'll take it soon. This bishop belongs here anyways. All right, I'm happy. I get this move. I'm not gonna take the knight, I'm gonna pin it, take it with the bishop so that I can go for checkmate. Here, 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 and mate. Mm hmm Okay, so check. I want checkmate. You can go here. Then I'm gonna dad bod shuffle. Yeah, I am pale. It happens. King D1 is ready though. And now, how are you gonna stop this move? Check. Check. Alakine. Skainer. Usually the most dangerous setups are the ones where they really grab all the space. Here, this opening, you can just castle, you can be pretty okay regardless. You don't want to castle, maybe go c5, queen c7, grow grow a bit on the queen side, but otherwise this is already solid enough. Maybe you grab some space here. F5 might be an idea. Let's push. Yeah. Pawn storm could be dangerous. You can consider playing f5. It's a bit aggressive. If you're really worried about being uh, cramped, then f5 might be to your liking to, to fight for some space. I don't like this move. I guess I have here. Got to be careful here, though. This is a loose pawn, isn't it? Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna have to go knight f8 and overprotect. Because these pawns are looking very loose. I'm very cramped here. At least if this opens up, this rook will do something. Yes. You have to wait for mistakes, right? See, I'm playing okay, but my opponent's playing well, and uh, I'm lacking a little bit of space. That's that's what happens. Okay, here I think I'm getting a bit of counterplay. Let's take. We'll trade everything. Check. I'll move my king out of the way. Hopefully I'm surviving this. 
I'm a little worried about this move. This knight could be a key piece. That's okay. Because I just want to, if I can trade the queens off, my king's okay. So how about let's offer a trade? Would you like a trade? Please? I don't think I'm getting my trade. That's a huge move. I can't defend both. <laughs> Otherwise I lose the rook. Yeah. The good thing is G6 isn't mate. I got a knight covering it. It's not mate. Check. Maybe they're going to play this. They're going to think it's checkmate and they're going to play it. Thoughts? <laughs> Let's just get those queens off as soon as possible. That's a good deal for me. This could be a huge pawn. Now the material is back to even. Push. Move the king out of the way. Gotta be careful here though, hey? Push. And what if I go here? Can I make the queen? Yes. I gotta watch out though. This is a fork if I'm not careful. Um, let's go here. Let's attack this pawn. And I'm threatening knight d3. Okay. That's better. That's better. Tough, tough opponent. Absolutely. Let's not fall for any forks. Watch out. Check. Ah, uh, check. What is Eric playing the hippo? Watch and learn. That's one move. We're set up. Almost set up. H6. I can't allow this. Can't allow the bishops to get traded. And now, how about we go D5? I got some ideas here. This is a standard reaction. White builds the pawn center and they push. Don't panic. That's where the opportunity comes from. These these kind of positions. D5, there's gonna be some counterattacking. It's a hypermodern opening, yes. But it's not easy to make progress here. Maybe knight here? How about b4? This is a juicy square. So right now, I'm not castling. White castled and I'm saying, White, you castled too soon. I'm gonna get a big attack now. I even have a cool tactic. Queen a6, queen e2, knight c3, knight b2. I bet I could make that work. I bet they wouldn't see that coming. Got a good feeling. And all in the meantime, how does white make progress? I do have most things covered. Key squares. Even here. Just gonna grab. 
White's running into it. Ready for this one? They're not going to see it. They're going to think I'm trying to play A4. But yeah, even though the White's... Box King is in the middle, I think White's in trouble here. Oh, okay. We'll continue to attack. My favorite kind of move, King D7. Now we're just gonna checkmate. Really? Isn't this checkmate? Really? This is checkmate for sure. Check. Check. Checkmate. Looks good. Looking good. A 22.50. This is for lots of you, though. There we go. The highest rated opponent yet in this hippo speed run. Got a good looking setup. I like it. I would do something very similar. And pushing, hey? Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna jump in with the knight. I'm gonna jump in. Win the bishop pair. I like the queenside castle, but this might be a problem. We're gonna see. That I didn't expect. Because is this not a loose pawn? Pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes. Looks like a loose pawn to me. We're playing for both colors, yes. I'm gonna win the bishop pair, you know that makes me happy. And now we have to move the queen out of the way though. Let's go here. That's annoying. That is annoying. What if Rook here is a problem, hey? So if Rook there is a problem, and I can't challenge like this, I have to go Bishop C3 to take that square away, or maybe I can play Bishop D4 and block the diagonal. Maybe. Worth a shot. Hmm. And now I think I can castle. Wait a second. Wait a second. You see what I see? I see some bishops. I see some open diagonals. So we're going to start with a check. King goes here, we take. And once the queen vacates, e7, this is checkmate. Queen and bishop. Nice and smooth. I can just take that. Look at my bishops. They're all pinned. That was... That was pleasurable. The bishop say hi. Don't give me the bishop here too much. There we go. This is for 2100. I'm I'm getting my hippo ready first. Ha! This is the pre-move. The anti-pre-move uh, opening. You throw this in in case black pre-moves. I would have lost. Okay. 
I'll defend my bishop. I do not want to yield any ground. And then I'll go back to the usual setup. H6. Wait a second. If I go g5, this knight has to go back and then I can take. That looks good. That looks very good. Pawn is a pawn, right? Now we can just castle, I presume. How about... I just move back. Knight g6. Get the knight out of the way. Rook e8. Overprotect e6. I play f5. Now this is defended. Yeah, let's go f5. I like that I'm covering so much ground. Let me, let's offer some, uh, I got a little trick here. Are you ready? I'm attacking this pawn. They're going to move back and then I'm going to have knight f4. It's going to, oh, that's, that's not what I was worried about. That's even worse. Now I have checkmate. Uh-oh. Check. Double check. And your king only has one square when it's a double check. Nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching an episode of the Hippo Speedrun. If you want to stay up to date with all of our latest content, other speedruns, and future episodes of this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.